In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply for a $25,000 grant from beginning to end, and I'm going to time myself doing it. This $25,000 grant is open to nearly all U.S. businesses, but it is due soon. So let's see how quickly we can apply. There are some surprises along the way. Plus, if you want to see the full completed application that we go through. We will link to that in the description so you can see the answers we've put down. Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. Let's get right to it today as always. Thanks for tuning in and subscribing. This really helps support our channel. And of course, if you wanna see dozens of other grants and funding opportunities, go check out the Skip app. Just search Skip in the App Store or use the link right in the description. I'm gonna start the timer soon. Do you have any guesses on how long this will take? And our skip $1,000 grants this month. They're due in four days. We're picking winners on June 27th, but we pick winners every single month. HelloSkip.com slash 1K. You can literally enter in a few seconds. We've given out over a quarter million dollars to date. Let's start the timer for the America's top small business grants. It's put on by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. So the first step, use the link at the top of the description. So here's who's eligible. Then we'll get started. You must be a legal resident of the U.S., be a for-profit business, have fewer than 250 employees, and less than $20 million in revenue for both 2021 and 2022. You need to apply by the deadline of July 7th. So we're going to make this really easy. First step, use the link in the description to add this to your Skip Funding Assistant. Then you'll be redirected to the application, create a free account. Then you'll get to this page, which talks about eligibility, important dates, and awards information. Let me mention this very quickly, even though the timer right here is still running. Of everyone that applies, they'll choose 70 top small businesses across America, 10 in each of the seven regions. The highest scoring business in each region will be named America's top small business in those seven regions. So they'll go from the top 10 in each region to the top business in each region. We're down to seven. And from there, they'll choose America's top small business, which will win a $25,000 grant. Okay, so let's get to it. I'm gonna click start application. Please note, once you submit your application at the end, it will be considered final and cannot be revised. Okay, we're gonna do this for a skip. Put in the name of your business save and click next. Then we get to eligibility questions. Are you a legal resident of the US? Is your business for profit? Is your business based in the US? Was your business founded at least one year prior to May 4th, 2023? Does your business have fewer than 250 employees or gross revenues of less than 20 million? Do you agree to all of the award rules, including potentially attending the award ceremony? All of these should be yes. If not, you're not eligible. You can check eligibility and it'll say, congrats, your application is eligible and you may proceed to the next stage. Click confirm. Now we can see at the top here, the seven steps to completion. First, put in your name. Is your business currently a U.S. Chamber of Commerce member? No. Is your business a member of a local state Chamber of Commerce? No. Probably for most of you, it's no. Save and click next. Look how quickly we're going through this. Choose your business industry, then the date your business was established. In our case, we officially started December 2016. Then put down your business phone number, then your business website. So far, easy peasy. Now we're getting to some of the written answers. Put in your business mission statement. If you don't have one, you can ask AI to help you out. In this example, I'm putting in a prompt, write a two paragraph mission statement for a company called Skip that helps small business owners and entrepreneurs. The mission is to help small business owners go further, specifically to help them discover and find funding. Let's see what it comes back with. Let me read it briefly. At Skip, our mission is to empower small business owners and entrepreneurs to reach new heights by providing them with the necessary tools, resources, and guidance they need to succeed. We understand the challenges and hurdles that small business owners face, and we are dedicated to helping them go further. This is actually a great response. Our comprehensive platform offers a wealth of educational content. Now, of course, you'll want to review this more thoroughly. Make sure that there's no fluff. Again, it's always important important in grant applications to be as specific as possible. Try to avoid jargon, buzzwords. In this case, I'm just gonna paste in that mission statement. Then I'm gonna put down more information about the business owner. Then I'm gonna put down number of full-time and part-time employees. And they ask this question, did your employee count increase or decrease 
from 2021 to 2022. So think back. Now, if that's just you, it's easy. You're just putting down one. And do you anticipate hiring more employees in 2023? Then they want to see your social media information. These are all optional though. But since I have them up right here, I'm going to put them in. By the way, in case you didn't know about all these social channels we're on, you can go ahead and follow us there if you'd like. There we go. And there's an optional field too. So I will put in our YouTube. Save and click next. We're 15 minutes in. Only a few more steps. And note this, please provide a copy of your company's tax return or a letter that states your 2021 or 2022 revenue. In case you haven't filed yet, you need to have a letter from your accountant. It's optional at this stage, but if you're selected as a finalist, this will be required. Put in your 2021 gross revenue and your 2022 gross revenue and put in if your revenue decreased from 2021 to 2022 and what one important financial or operational success milestone your business reached in 2022. This part's optional, they say, but a good idea to put it in. So let's go back to our friend ChatGPT, or you can also use Bard for this as well. So here's the prompt, write a one paragraph success story about how our business 3x the number of business owners we were able to assist in 2022 by improving our one-on-one -on -one service and offering people several options on how they can get one-on-one -on -one funding help. And here we go in 2022, our company experienced extraordinary success story, tripling the number of business owners and a few more sentences here. Again, I'm going to copy this. You'd want to look at this a bit more carefully, edit it, make sure it's capturing what you want to say, but then you can paste that in here. And again, if you want to upload financial documents here, you can end, but it's optional at this stage. So let's just go save and next. Now look at us. We're halfway through. It's time for the scored questions. This is the long part of the application. 10 questions here, but we can do this quickly together. Or if you want help from our team of funding experts, we can help you craft these answers very quickly. Again, you might get to this stage and say, look, this is going to take me 30 minutes, or I don't know where to start, or I'm not a good writer, or I don't know what a good answer looks like leave it to us we can help you and you can use the discount link in the description again we'll help you craft compelling answers that you can then add to your application okay so let's crank through these together tell us about your business describe your business including but not limited to its history number of years in business its products and our services offered consider including what makes your business unique here's the prompt we're using write a two paragraph business description include the following points our business was started in 2016 etc etc so i put in a few sentences here i'm going to ask ai to make it a little bit more coherent here's the answer i'm happy with the response so i'm going to place it right in here question number two describe your business path to success please include how you overcame any obstacles to attain outstanding business achievement okay back to the ai prompt now based on this business information write two paragraphs that describe how our business overcame challenges and i give a few talking points here let's put it in and see what ai comes back with here we go all right we've got an initial response here again i'm going to copy this in and paste it in to question number two question number three describe your business contribution to your local economy back to ai I'm going to put in write a one paragraph response how we've helped over 100,000 businesses get funding, stay in business. We've also donated grants, nearly quarter million dollars. Question four, describe how your business model is designed for sustainable long-term profitability. Tell us, for example, how your business has evolved or adapted to changes from COVID, inflation, hiring challenges, or other external forces. So on the prompt here, I copied in the initial question mentioned in one paragraph. You can talk about how our incentive is for business owners to succeed in the long term. Our success is based on their success. Mention how businesses will always need funding and help no matter what stage they're at. Here's the prompt. Thanks. Now explain how the business has carved out a distinct niche. Mention how we specifically became a leading resource on YouTube during the pandemic and built trust among hundreds of thousands of business owners with over 15 million views. That's the prompt. Here's the result. With a quick scan, it looks good. And I'm going to paste it into number five. We're halfway done. Again, this is the most time consuming part. The last three sections right after this are easy. So if you're with me so far, don't give up. Let's keep going here. Describe one recent business initiative, a marketing campaign, operational pivot, technology adoption, or leadership move, for example, that generated a return on investment for your business. So this is a great example of choosing something specific and putting in numbers. Here's the prompt write a one paragraph response about how our business at the start of the pandemic, we decided to provide as much free information as possible. That included regularly posting on YouTube videos like this about pandemic relief, the CARES Act, EIDL grants and loans, PPP loans. We went from a thousand subscribers to over a hundred thousand. And of course, we're way past that now. Okay, let's see what this 
spiffy reply is. Here it is. It's got some great specifics in here. It should be inspirational for who's ever reading it. And I'm going to paste that in. Two more questions here. Then we are nearly done. I promise you. We're at the 45 minute mark right now. Do you think we can get this done in the next 15 minutes to keep it to an hour? Let me know below. Share one or two of your business's top best practices for hiring, training, and retaining employees and explain how those strategies have generated results. This is a great question about your team and how you care about your team. So the prompt is I'm going to talk about grants and I'm specifically going to take one example, the Barclays grant program. That was a very popular. Of course, we've had a lot of very popular grant programs, but I'm going to say we went through how to apply step by step in a video viewed by nearly 100,000 people. We had thousands apply for this based on that video. So here we go. We've got a good paragraph response. I'm going to paste it in again. Definitely read these answers carefully. You can put them in a Google doc, revisit them while you're doing this, come back to it, or again, ask us to review your answers. We would be more than happy to. That's it. We've answered the 10 questions. I'm going to hit save. We're in the home stretch. Again, there's more self-identification. If you're women owned, veteran owned, minority owned, immigrant owned, same with which of these apply to your business. You identify primarily as green, sustainable, eco-friendly, operates in a rural area, operates in an urban area. Which of these issues have impacted your business in the last 12 months? Choose as many as applicable, prompt payment issues, access to capital, getting paid by customers, inflation, crime, supply chain issues. Again, a lot of these things probably affect you, but think about which ones have impacted your business. How do you view your government's role in your business? Choose your best answer. For us, it's helpful. How are you feeling about the future of your business? Optimistic, pessimistic, no opinion other. Again, these are great survey results that the chamber, of course, is going to use in advocacy. Remember the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, their role is being an advocacy organization for business owners across the U.S. Save and click next. And finally, it's optional attachments. Attach any additional items you'd like to share with the judges, business plan, statement of goals, letters of recommendation, customer reviews, video, etc. You should absolutely do this. So three things that I would recommend. First, your business plan. Again, many of you have business plans that you've added to your skip dashboard. If not, we can help you create a business plan and you can add that to the application. The second thing that may be worth doing is a video. However, in this case, there's not an option to put in a link, unfortunately. So that means you'd have to upload a movie file, which would get very big. I don't know if there's a size limit here. So if they had a link upload, I'd say definitely do a video, but maybe not in this case. But one thing you can do in this case is share reviews. So I'm going to do this very quickly. We've got some great Trustpilot reviews. I'm going to screenshot some of the recent reviews that talk about some of the things we've mentioned in the application. So this will support the things that we've been talking about, hey, what is the impact we're actually having on people? Thanks to everyone who's left us reviews, by the way. Some shout outs to our team as well, which is great because I said, look, we love to recognize the team. I'm going to paste these in a document. You can see all of them at trustpilot.com slash review slash low skip. Now I'm going to drop in the several screenshots that I took and let's see how they form it here. So there we go. We see some of the screenshots and again, it can't hurt. Great. Everything they talked about, all the amazing things they talked about are legit. Again, I'm going to save it as a PDF. And back to the application, I'll add in the recent Trustpilot reviews. You can add in a few more if you want, but I'm going to hit save and next because we're just at the hour mark. Can we get this in in the next 30 seconds? I agree to the terms and conditions. Again, read this all very carefully. Click save and next. And here it is, the submit entry button. Click submit entry. Okay, we just completed this $25,000 grant application. That's it. Good luck applying. Remember to see this grant and dozens of other go download the skip app. If you want to go directly to the America's top small business grant and start applying now, use the first link in the description. Most importantly, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.